Hello guys, welcome to another exciting video from Emotion. In this video today, we will tell you everything we know so far about Tesla's incredible new 4680 battery and why it has no competition in the market whatsoever. But before we do, make sure to stay tuned with us till the end and this is going to be very exciting. The 4680 made the electrons easier to get around inside the cells than 2170. The path length of storage and energy also became shorter. That is the way that Tesla moves. They're always a step ahead of everyone, and they go to the root of the problem to maintain absolute control over their automotive issues. This attention to detail is why Tesla is always outdemanded. So many people are not only interested in the sustainable process of producing and running their cars. They also are very intrigued by the company and its obsession with creating new and improved technology. Even with bad publicity in China, Tesla still made a 29% increase in sales at the start of June. The battery technology is one way Tesla is ensuring that they are meeting the demand target yearly. Now, there are new generation of batteries that are not lithium-ion types. These batteries are better technology and known to be the next big thing. Nanotechnology is when matter is used on an atomic, molecular, and supramolecular scale for industrial purposes. The atoms and molecules are manipulated for the fabrication of products. The battery shortage problem of Tesla, for what reason they have to build 100 Giga factories, will all be solved as it gets more efficiency and density for less. In 2020, when he was speaking about the $25,000 vehicles, Elon Musk said that it could take the company a year to 18 months to start and three years to fully realize it. The issue with nanotech batteries seems to be the same. The batteries are a great change and the only company that has perfected its technology is still not in talks with Tesla. It's very possible that Tesla has gone to the drawing board and is researching the technology. To come out with an even advanced form of nanotech, it could also be that the companies are still in talks and soon an announcement will be made on a profitable collaboration. As mentioned earlier, this will not be the first time Tesla is collaborating with a battery maker. The company has dealt with two other companies, LG and Panasonic. The timelines seem blurry since last year's battery day, but the expectation is that at the start of 2022, we would have updates. Since battery day is still yet to happen this year, maybe it'll finally be mentioned. We will be told which factories will be producing the nanotech batteries and what models they'll be tested in. The future for Tesla batteries is indeed interesting, with new technology on the rise. There is no confirmation that Tesla is making a nano battery yet. The company has teased us with talks of a $25,000 car and million mileage EV, and we have run wild with it. Also, a part of the blame goes to the writer who searched the battery day image backward and revealed that it represented nanotechnology. However, here are some of the advantages that Tesla will enjoy from using nano. Tesla vehicles are the best option due to their range and charging speed. It's in their interest to take this characteristic higher that will drive sales and demand for the company. Tesla is yet to tap into the business of fast charging battery production fully. The company could perfect the technology and become a producer of the fastest charging batteries for phones, laptops, watches, speakers, drones, and aircraft. The technology could also go into the solar charging system that Tesla has. It wouldn't hurt to be able to store 10 times more energy from the sun. So if Tesla decides to build the nano batteries, they will be ahead of what already exists and most definitely make all the money they can from it. This trillion dollar opportunity is also why we're sure that the Tesla nanotech battery is coming. Nano is a factor of 10 to the power negative 9. It's so small that you will need a molecular telescope to look at it. These days, tennis balls, golf balls, and bowling balls use nanotechnology to last longer. Trousers and socks are also infused with the technology to last longer and keep people cooler. In the battery world, the lithium-ion battery anode consists of carbon in the form of graphite. The graphite energy density is limited. The other alternative is silicon. Silicon has 10 times more energy compared to graphite because it can store up to that amount of energy. The only reason silicon is not the first choice is the swelling problem it has. That is where nanowires come in. Silicon anodes and batteries require nanowires. They're known to tolerate swelling and resist cracking. The nanowires have higher connectivity and connectivity because they're connected with no binders. The batteries are going to last forever. If a million miles per lifetime prediction is true, then this technology is the next big thing as speculated. Last year, there were a lot of conspiracy theories about the Ampris battery company and Tesla collaborating. The company is the only one in the US harnessing nanotechnology for batteries. The two companies were tagged in many tweets asking for confirmation of their working together. They have since refuted the claims. Amprius was set up after a 2007 research that revealed the nanowire technology. The Stanford University scientists who discovered the technology 
gave a blueprint that Amprius is following to the latter. The company says that the batteries can improve performance in electric vehicles, aircraft, drones, and wearables. It's shocking to see Elon Musk not buying Amprius yet. The CEO and co-founder of Tesla will naturally not let revolutionary technology like this reach another EV maker before him. Still, whatever relationship they have is under wraps. The current most enhanced lithium-ion battery, 4680, runs at 600 miles per charge. Even that's still in production. It's essential to note that Nanotech has more than 700 miles worth of energy per charge at its initial stage. Since the majority of EV owners use approximately 50 to 200 miles, the cars can have three times their current charge per mileage. If you're interested in other fascinating things about Tesla, then make sure to check out our video on Tesla's solid-state battery would be game over for the industry. You could go check this out after the video. Why will Tesla change their already high standard and top-functioning battery? And how will the batteries get better than the lithium-ion batteries in use currently? The Tesla brand is the world's most requested electric vehicle brand. The energy and automotive company has set itself apart as a leader in all fields that it enters. The battery, the prime component of an electric car, has been at the top of the company's priorities for ages now. The company takes many of these small batteries and compacts them into a vehicle battery. The idea seems like a DIY and not a strong force at first, but it has been the most sustainable move. The batteries are already produced by tech brands like Panasonic and LG, which means there will never be a shortage problem. The battery format size of electric vehicles was the same until Tesla started. For instance, when the Model S was introduced, everyone supposed it would need a much bigger battery format. The competition like Nissan was using an improved version of their big formats. Tesla remained stuck with the 18650 battery and only upgraded it to be more durable and store more energy. Working with a team like Panasonic means that you're getting years of experience in high reliability. The companies collaborated in 2011, and they're still in business upgrading their products together. Now, Panasonic is producing batteries inside the Tesla factory in Nevada. Over a year ago, news hit of a new battery that's six times better at storing energy. This battery is called the 4680. The new battery is going to eliminate the use of tabs, increase energy density, and maintain the same thermal characteristics of smaller cells and streamline the power-to-weight ratio. That decision to produce in-house and have a larger battery than usual shows Tesla's commitment to going to the base of the problem and fixing it. What that'll mean is that if Tesla wants to maintain its 300 miles limit, it'll use half the number of the current batteries for production. That means more mileage for less battery cost. This is going to affect the prices of the cars. If you can produce the batteries at the same cost and use half of it, then the reality of $25,000 Tesla cars is near. The current tabless batteries charge fast and enjoy a good amount of road time. The nanotech batteries, however, are going to charge 10 times faster and store 10 times more energy. If the cost of batteries, which constitute the largest production cost, is slashed into two, the prices, which are now within the 4,000s, can drop to 20,000s. It'll also change the design of cars as the batteries are going to be much smaller and have the cars looking more compact. This will solve the demand problem that Tesla has always had. Several people wait for so long because of the smaller capacities of their factories. If the nanotech batteries are going to make the batteries in cars half, then the factories can produce double their capacity. What are your thoughts on this? We'd love to hear them in the comments below. Also, thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.